So, quickie on a Saturday morning. Who doesn't like a quickie on a Saturday morning, eh? Um, measuring. This is triggered by a few of the American woodworking channels that I watch. Um, I'm mostly American. Going on about metric versus imperial. Um, I live in a metric country, France, which is pretty much where the metric system was popularised at least. Um, so everything I do is in metric, but we do have a couple of uh, a couple of old imperial units here. So what we have here, a scale. Um, that is a metric 30 centimeter scale. I use them all over the place. Got one in my work. I've got a couple in my workshop. Got one here. It's, yeah, they're, they're pretty standard. This was my grandfather's. It is a two foot folding boxwood scale. I think it's boxwood, fairly certain. And there are some markings on it. Um, that was the tool that my grandfather used all the time, had it in his pocket all the time. Or one of them. And this is my wife's grandfather's scale, which is a one foot, uh, un pied, boxwood scale. And what we will find, that this is English, and this, because my wife is French, is French. But my wife's grandfather was born after the French Revolution, very much after the moment when the French went metric. And what you will notice is, if we lay these back to back, where the English foot ends, which is just here, here are. In fact, we can zoom in on that bit, maybe. There you go. Yep. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. So the English, I will use this ruler as a pointer, um, where the English foot ends here, the French foot ends here. Now why is that? Well, it's a little bit of an oddity. Now when the French went metric, yep, wibble wobble wibble wobble, when the French went metric, um, they did it for good. They wanted to go metric. But the people, a lot of people, people artisans, people who were doing woodworking and the like, didn't particularly like this whole metric thing. Like the English in the 70s, they considered that dividing everything by 10 was far too complicated and they could continue to divide things by 7 and 3 and 12 and 42 and, and whatever the fuck. So, they wanted to carry on using inches, or because they were French, Pousse and pied. Um, so the government decided to homogenise the two systems. And the way that they did that was that they took the yard and they stretched it out slightly to be the same as a metre. So one yard, one metre. So everybody can continue using feet and inches, or pousse, Et pieds. And these were what the French referred to as mesures usuelles, so the usual measures. Um, but rather than being the old imperial feet, yards, inches, they were metric feet, yard, and inches. And that's what we're looking at here. This is a metric foot with metric inches. So it's still 12 inches, but those inches are 12, uh, 1, uh, 1 36th of a yard, which might seem a bit odd, but it's no more odd than the American system where they don't really care about actually going metric, but just tying the two systems together so that you can convert between them, where they kept the size of their inch, which may or may not be the same size as an English inch, I'm not absolutely certain. Certainly an imperial English inch, they may well have changed. Um, they kept the size of their inch exactly the same and worked out what it was in centimetres. That was 2.54 centimetres, and so the American inch is defined as 2.54 centimetres, and if the size of the centimetre changes, 
which it does from time to time, um, as we get more and more accurate in our, in our definition of the centimetre or the metre, in fact, um, the inch will change correspondingly. The definition of the inch will stay at 2.54 centimetres so that we can convert. So what the French did was they decided to they made their made their stuff metric and eventually it would die out. It did eventually die out. Mesures usuelles are no longer used and most people don't even know that they existed. Um, inches were just stripped out of circulation in the UK and most other places and just went straight with metric for most things, apart from measuring people's height in feet, or you know, it was what people do still, distance in miles. Um, although they did, did use the metric mile, so there you go. Um, although I'm not sure that's the same one that's used on the roads. Um, and the Americans just uh, sticking with what they got. But there you go. Three different ways of measuring. Oh, and as an added bonus, this metric foot is not one third of a meter. I'll leave the reasons why that is for another time or maybe you can have a guess. See ya!